Hello, 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 everybody. Thank you so much for coming to hang out today. My name is Margaret, and this is my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And today I thought I'd bring you a video sharing my, what knowledge I've got about glass, pink glass in particular, and just a quick overview of what kinds of pink glass there are out there and the kinds of prices you can ask for them. My background with pink glass and my limited knowledge of it, or somewhat limited knowledge of it, um, stems from my grandmother who was a collector of all things pink, but specifically pink glass, all kinds, cranberry glass, depression glass, hobnail, etc, etc. And so I thought I would share with you some of the listings and some of the things I've sold personally, and then a, just a quick snippet of information about each of these things, just so you might be able to get your feet wet or not feel so intimidated if you see something out at an estate sale or a thrift store or garage sale uh, that you might be able to pick up for relatively inexpensive to turn over for a profit. I think a lot of people get really intimidated by some of these glassware items because they maybe don't know how to describe them. They may not know how to identify the maker if, they, if, if it's possible. And so this is just, again, a quick overview of the things that I am able, or the things I've been able to learn through my grandmother and through the research I've done to list some of the things that were in her collection. So I thought I would share that with you. Now, I am thinking about doing a breakout video for each of these different items or types of glass. Um, again, this is just as a quick overview, but I wanted to just kind of gauge the response. So let me know if you're watching now or watching later, leave me a comment and let me know that you know, you would like to see more specifically on certain types of glass so that you are <laughs> less intimidated because it, it was intimidating and still can be when I go through some of my grandmother's collection. I, I still haven't finished going through everything because it is intimidating. It's a lot to learn. And yeah, so I, again, I am live. So hello, everybody. If you are watching this later and you're interested in catching me live, hit that subscribe button. And the little bell, if you click that, it lets you know when I put out new videos or when I go live if you're interested. So I wanted to share with you some of these things. All right, I'm popping up first. I'm using my Instagram as a place marker uh, between the different kinds of glass. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> so that I know when to switch gears, basically. These are some, a very few that I have kept. Um, I have these windows up in my living room, like, what are they? they're like skybox type windows right where I've placed some of my grandmother's pink sugar shakers as, as you if you've watched me for a while you know that my grandmother collected sugar shakers and hat pin holders as well and so these are some that I've kept from her collection that have popped up you know it's nice the, the light catches them and and uh, there's that so hello hello hi Angela and Gwen hi Jacqueline hi better Barbie and Kaylee hello old new treasures hi Deb and Cherie hello hello I'm, if I skip you, I apologize. Hi, Ophelia and Dixie Heart, Heart of Dixie Flipper, that is, and Beth. You'd like to see more on red glass, Kaylee says. And there is a kind of glass that goes along with one of these. Of course, I forgot to turn my phone off. Just turn that off. Right there. Okay, so <laughs> hello, Flipper Joe. Hi, Believe. Okay, so here we go. Uh, again, if you're interested, follow me on Instagram. There's that as well. Okay, so starting off, I'm just going to share about cram, um, carnival glass. This is one of, now the listings of mine that I have popped up, some are sold, some sold on eBay, some sold on Etsy, but I just thought, oh, let me pull up the ones that I have, the good, bad, the ugly anyway. Um, so this is a piece of carnival glass. It's a Fenton piece of carnival glass, and uh, I can't remember right now if this is sold or not. So, um, <laughs> so carnival glass comes in lots of different colors. Again, I'm just doing a quick overview and if you're interested, let me know and I can dive deeper in, in an, another video on, on one particular type of glass. Uh, but carnival glass comes in lots of different colors. Basically, it's got this um, iridescent surface. So in carnival glass, it says here is molded or pressed glass. So you won't find usually that. I always want to call it a fontanelle, but that's not right. It's like a pontill, I think is how you say that. At the bottom where like the blown glass would come out. I'm trying to see. So here you'll see... It's got that iridescent sheen to it, so you can really see it on this one right here. But again, it does come in lots and lots of different colors. Um, there's a great article on the Spruce, which is a great website for lots of different things. I love going to it. Um, Carnival Glass Identification and Value Guide. So I'm just going to scroll through so you can kind of see what's out there. 
Uh, I'm trying to focus just on the pink glass today, just for funsies, um, because we have to stop somewhere. There's so much out there in glassware. But yeah, and again, there's so much information out there to help you identify the pieces. So try not to be um, intimidated when you come across this type of glassware. So carnival glasses, one. Again, here's a nice poor man's Tiffany carnival glasses, what they call it. You can see that iridescent sheen on it. Now I pulled up this, these are eBay Souls pink carnival glass. And I did sort them by um, highest price to lowest price, just to give you an idea of some of the big numbers that can be brought by some of these pieces. And again, this one is a, North, a Northwood, which is a brand um, I'll have to talk about it later because there are a few different brands of glassware and there's ways to identify them. So I think I did one video about identifying glass. I, I have to go back and look. I know I did one video on depression glass a while back. So you can see some of these um, carnival glass. This one's a marigold, you know, in the pink colors, $147, $140. Some of them go for really nice money. This is again, carnival glass. So there's that. Here's Imperial. We'll get into that in a minute too. So what about stained glass can I do? You know, I don't know a whole lot about stained glass, but it's something I can certainly look into. Most of the stained glass pieces that I find at garage sales, I end up giving to friends. I found a stained glass orchid pic, like p image and I, and I gave it to my good friend, AJ, who loves orchids. Okay. So here's my, I'm switching gears. This is a reminder. Um, so next up, are, is cranberry glass. Now this was something my grandmother loved. It was one of her favorite things, cranberry glass. And so these are some of the listings that I have or have sold um, as far as cranberry glass goes. And the cool thing about cranberry glass is that it has gold in it. Now, in just a second, I'm gonna get into, like there's something, oh, what's it called? I can't think of what it's called, but basically it's like painted on. So you have to really know what you're looking at because if it's, the painted on kind of glass, there's a word for it. Um, it's not quite as valuable. But again, these are so, oops, some of these are ones that I have sold, some are still listed. Um, but these ones are, these two are blown glass. You can see the, down at the bottom, this pon, pontil, I'm not sure how to say it, pon, I think that's how you say it, right, pontil, where it was like a blown glass. And this one as well, it's got the swirl, it's got the pontil at the bottom. Again, if I'm butchering the the say the word let me know and then th there's a couple here these are sugar shakers or um muffin ears basically the ladies would put their powders in it on their dressing table you know and shake their powder on the stuff uh so yeah th there's that and this one's cool um because this one had um these british markings on it which is another thing that we could go a whole a whole other video into are knowing or recognizing when something has british hallmarks that can really help you one, identify it and also command a higher price. So there's that. Um, so here's another one again, um, that had, did this one have markings on it? Yeah. So it's got the British hallmarks and stuff on it on there. And then again, knowing like the, the types of tops they screw on the, the being able to date them and everything like that. So <laughs> my, your mother, Oh, did she, my, let's be happy thrifter. My mother left me cranberry bubble glass. That's nice. Okay, well, let me scoot this up so everyone can see who's there. Okay, so there's this one. Again, still talking about just cranberry glass. And I know I'm giving just like a brief overview, but I just wanted to throw out, you know, keep your eye out there for pink glass and what might be a good buy, a good pickup. Uh, there were two of these. She had two, my grandmother had two of these, and both of these have sold. Um, cranberry glass shakers, wide base. So those are both of those. They sold already. And then, and then again, also keep in mind that with some of these, they are longer tail items. So if your business model is to pick it up and have quick flips, um, this kind of thing might not be for you, but it's definitely, if you, if, if you see it out there for an, a, a low price, it's worth picking up to list, you know, for a long tail item. And so here are some more Pilgrim hand blown cranberry glass pictures, little mini pictures are super cute. There we go. Uh, okay. So cranberry glass. Now the cool thing about cranberry glass is that it's made with gold. Um, it's in, in the, in the way it's made. Let me see that there was a specific sentence that was good. Here we go. 
Cranberry glass or gold ruby glass is red glass made by adding gold salts or colloidal, colloidal gold to molten glass. And I think that there's a green, maybe a green one where they add the silver to it. But the, the cranberry glass can also come in a color called ruby red, where it's red, ruby red. It's a way red glass. So um, same deal. It's, it's in the glass. So if you find one that you can tell is painted on, like it's, it's scratched or something, it won't go for as much. Again, great article on the spruce about cranberry glass. And it's still being made, so there's collecting newer cranberry glass items. So then where was it here we go flashed on this is the one where it's this it looks like cranberry glass but it's it's painted on so what does flashed on color mean it's basically where it's the pink or red has been painted on and then um, can be scratched or peels off after a time it's you can't really ask a, as high of a price for it generally so there's that and then here oh nice yeah Kaylee says I bought cranberry vases from a Goodwill for a or two dollars a piece. I thought it was a good buy. Yeah. If it's if it truly is cranberry glass, I mean some of it again, there are pieces that command a higher price than others, but being able to identify it, I think it is. I personally and then it's really pretty to look at and take pictures of and things like that too. So I picked up a Fenton, I know we haven't really gotten into the Fenton hobnail yet, but I picked up a, a little Fenton pink and white um, hobnail vase, a little one. It didn't go for a ton of money, but I think it went for like 20 or 30 bucks, but I picked it up for a dollar at a garage sale. So definitely worth um, keeping your eyes out for. So here again, cranberry glass. These are sorted by um, recent first. And I haven't taken a picture of, I have, uh, I'll have to take a picture of it <laughs> and share with you. But my grandmother had a, here, I'll show. Let me sort by highest price first. Um, one of these gas lamps. Mm, I don't have a picture of it here. Follow me on Instagram and I'll post one after the show. But it's like, okay, I know I saw one on here. It's one of these like this, like kerosene lamp like this pink one. But hers is prettier <laughs> and a lot more colorful and big. And, and hers is that um, kind of like that Fenton pink cranberry with the, it doesn't have the, the hobnail. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but it's one of those. I, again, if you follow me on Instagram, I'll share a picture of it after the show. It's got this style. See how it's like white where the pink kind of shows through? Well, the glass part on that's kind of like that. It's really pretty. So I don't know. <laughs> she said that the story she heard was that it came from a bordello. It's kind of like this one. So I probably will never sell it because it's so unique. But yeah, so some of the cranberry glass the on the higher end can definitely go for good money. Like these two are lampshades, but when somebody's trying to recreate a look and they need those lampshades, they're willing to um, do a higher price. Oh dear. Hang on. Okay. I don't have any of my, my admins or my mods in here, so. Uh, give me one second, you guys. Oh my gosh, sorry. If I deleted the wrong person, I apologize. Sorry. Hang on, I <laughs> deleted the wrong person because it jumped. Apologies, CJ. <laughs> oh, one more second. Let's get this fixed real quick. There we go. All right. <laughs> Them's the breaks when you go live. You just never can tell what's going to happen. Okay, so cranberry glass. Look into that if you can find some. And you, I, I could go through all the solds with you, but it's something that you could do as well. Um, I just wanted to, again, do an overview. And if it's something you want me to dive deeper into, let me know. And that's something that I can, can do. Okay, so next up, again, um, the next one that I have is this. I'm looking at the Fenton, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so next up is Fenton, which, well, Fenton makes more than just pink glass, but they make a few different kinds of pink glass. So this is one, like a, a basket. My grandmother put like these porcelain eggs in it. So, in, yeah, anyway, so there's this. And this, again, is one of my listings. These are older listings. As you can see, my pictures are not super awesome. But just to take a look, at the different things that are out there. 
And so again, on spruce, there's a whole page just on Fenton glassware collecting. There's This is hobnail, the ones that have the little bumps on it like this. Um, so the hobnail, again, com comes in lots of different colors. Ruffles, etc., etc. I'm looking to see if I see any more. Um, let's see, there's one more. Fenton Art Glass Identification and Value Guide. So Rose Pastel. Um, yeah, there's, again, just to, to have an eye out for it. So this is the hobnail, the pink cranberry hobnail that we're looking at today. Okay, wow, we're really flying through this. I'm surprised. I know, poor CJ. Hopefully she, she made it back in because I, un, I unbanned her. Oopsies. Okay, then, so the next one, and this was the, honestly the area that I had the most and to, not in um, hesitation with, it was the depression glass because there were many different makers of depression glass. It's really kind of a cool story, um, but there are many different makers of depression glass and knowing how to identify the maker based on the pattern. So like you would see a China pattern with, you know, different flowers on the edges and be able to identify the maker flip the plate over, say, oh, there's pink flowers, there's green flowers, whatever, and know what the china pattern was called. Same thing with silverware, where they've got certain flowers on the ends and you can identify what the silverware is called. Same thing goes for glassware and depression glass. So that was something for me that was a big stretch when I really started was learning how to figure out that this was made by Imperial, you know, this was Imperial Star Medallion, blah, blah, blah. So one thing you look at as far as, as glass goes is the base. So this star on the bottom may not be random. The pattern on the bottom may be a identifier for the maker. And so that's something to keep in mind when you're searching for what it is. And then also the patterns along the edges, like here, um, can be a very specific pattern. And again, I'll show you on the spruce, of course. Um, what did you say the name of the website was that has information about glass? This is this website called the Spruce. They have information about so much stuff, jewelry, antiques. It's and the way they have it laid out is so crystal clear. I love it. So here's a web again, the Spruce. A closer look at depression glass. It's kind of cool because during the depression, things were tough. I mean, for everybody. And so depression glass was, you know, pressed glass. It came in pretty colors and the ladies could get it for cheap, you know, 10 cents. Or if they, if you read the article, it talks about, you know, you go get an oil change and you get a free piece of glassware. You go to the movies, they would, different places would have specials where you buy something and you get a free piece of depression glass, a free piece of glass. And so, yeah, um, there's that. So let's see if there's any more. Um, the ladies took advantage of getting the, the glass. So let's see about all about pink. Oh, I don't think I even opened that one. So this is what I'm saying. There's so much info. I don't, I'm not even sure I opened the thing about pink depression glass, uh, popular in pink. No, I don't, I'm not going to read it in front of y'all either. So, okay, here's the, the one about the patterns. I'm waiting for this ad to go away, go away ad. So yeah, depression glass patterns. This was not around when I was doing mine. So if you look, you can see here that it'll show the, it's not just a random glass pattern, right? You'll be able to see that this is called, you know, American Sweetheart glass pattern. If you look, this particular one is called Aurora pattern. And then the nice thing about this site also will give you the, the maker and the name of the, of the brand and everything. So bubble pattern. And this one is called a cameo depression. So don't, you know, don't be intimidated by it. Here's a cherry blossom. Let's see. I know I did another video where I talked about glass patterns like this. I'll have to pull it up and see if I can find it. <laughs> People were depressed. Yeah, they were. And my grandmother was, um, you know, a child. She lived through the depression. So it, maybe why she kept everything, you know, she, she just didn't turn loose of anything. And then uh, again, this is the same. Oh, this is the price guide. So yeah, depression glass price guide. If you can look, you can look on here. You can look at solds on on eBay as well. But good to know. And we'll we'll have to talk about green ones later because I have some green as well. 
<laughs> That's a different story. Some of that uranium glass is really cool. Okay, yeah, but so I mean, again, some of it's not worth a ton, but anyway, it's fun. And no, to, to know when you're out there what is good to pick up and what's not so good to pick up. Let me see. You tend to favor the green ones. I'm going to do a quick search real quick before we go. Because I, I know, I, is that funny? I know I did a video about, I can't remember if it was just depression glass or if it was like rosewood on a couple specific brands. Let's see if I can find it really quickly. If not, we'll just, ah, rose point is what I did a video on. Hang on, let me pop it open. Or I'll, oh, I am sharing it. Duh. Here it is. Okay. So this one right here, Learn Along, Cambridge, Rose Point, Rose Point Crystal. It's basically Rose Point glass, but. So you can get an idea of like how to look at the patterns and things like that. Wow, that's old, isn't it? <laughs> it's a year ago. All right. So I just wanted to do a quick overview on the kinds of pink glass that you could find out there and just gauge the interest. Uh, I did a poll. If you're following me, then in the feed, I have a community tab, but then it'll pop up in your feed of subscription stuff where it, I asked, you know, what kind of videos would you like to see? And I had a lot of people say they'd like to see more about collectibles. So I thought, well, let me throw this out there and see what everyone thinks about the glassware and go from there. Because again, I can dive deeper into the different kinds of glass that I shared here and talk more about prices and patterns and things like that. <laughs> Why was it called depressed glass? Well, depression, it, a lot of it came out during the depression. Let's see, let me make sure I'm quoting this correctly. It came out during the depression and it was inexpensive and the ladies could pick it up so yeah Vicky says I collect pink depression glass isn't it nice it's so pretty okay thank you so much for watching you guys again leave a comment and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this or any other collectible type item that you would like for me to explore if I'm able if I have any kind of background knowledge on it then I can do that and I appreciate you guys coming to watch I didn't even look to see how many friends we've got hanging out today because I'm on a different thing. Okay, yay. Go over there and hit the thumbs up, friends, and I appreciate you coming by, and I'll talk to you guys later. Again, hit that subscribe button, and see you next time. Bye.